Welcome to another edition of I Am Sports with Pedro Justice. Well, uh, you're Dennis Ugas. Ugas won the fight. Manny Pacquiao had that look on his face like, man, in his interview, let me translate for you. Man, I ain't fought in two years. I got this guy last minute. I didn't really want to even fight this guy. I prepared for Errol Spence, but I wasn't going to give up that payday. <laughs> payday. <laughs> payday. <laughs> Man, I might have an opposing opinion view on this fight than everybody else. Right now, I don't feel it's an upset at all. It played out like it was going to play out. I'm not, I'm underwhelmed. I don't feel anything about this move the needle of the welterweight division. Manny Pacquiao lost. We've been here before. I don't feel sad. It's just he hadn't fought in a couple years, and he's he's in and out. So he'll be back out of boxing right now. Why I feel this way? Errol Spence was supposed to be here. The buildup. Errol Spence could have disposed of Manny Pacquiao. Terrence Crawford disposed. Ugas did what he had to do. He listened to his trainer. What he did was... He won the fight with the jab and the occasional overhand right that looked sloppy. And Manny Pacquiao looked like he was his feet were stuck in stone. Like he, I don't know what was going on, but guess what they say? Father time catches up with you. Manny Pacquiao didn't even look like he was ready to fight tonight. So to me, the welterweight division is in shambles. If we can't get Sean Porter versus Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence's sideline. Who do we have? And I, I'm just going to say whatever I want to say on this video now. Sean Porter beat Ugas. Let's have a rematch of that so that Sean Porter can show you that he actually beat Ugas. It was one of the most underwhelming performances of Sean Porter. And even so, he still beat Ugas. <laughs> yes, no fluke. Ugas is a fighter that does the best that he can tonight he listened to his trainer congratulations but to me this didn't even feel like an upset it felt like who's paying 75 dollars for this for pay-per-view why is this fight happening you know why a payday manny pacquiao won a payday that was it manny got his money and he left at the end of the fight he was just like ah Man, I didn't even have time to train for this guy. <laughs> I just came in here and collected my check. I'm 42, about to be 43. What do you expect? Ugas, I don't want to rain on this parade. In his world, this is the greatest thing since sliced bread. For me, for some unknown reason, I just don't care. The boxing. I, have to, I talk to casuals. You're around casuals all day. This doesn't do anything for boxing. Even this, the boxing purists. What did this fight do other than take people's money? Congratulations to Ugas. But for me, Errol Spence's um, tweets and Terrence Crawford's tweet, they say it all. Man, what could have been? This fight happened. It's behind us. I'm over it. I don't feel sad for Manny Pacquiao. I don't even feel excited for Ugas. It, it, it just didn't have that feeling of, yes, I can't believe Manny lost. It didn't have that buildup. It just, here's a fight tonight, a uh, good sparring session. Manny didn't have it tonight. Ugas had enough. And that was it. So I don't know. You may disagree with me. Ugas did what he had to do. First round, Manny won. After that, hey, it's toss up. Ugas didn't do anything overly spectacular other than that jab. I felt that Ugas should have put more pressure. I felt he should have jabbed more. He could have set things up and knocked out Manny Pacquiao, but he didn't do that. So the more he didn't do that, the more I didn't care about the fight. I was like, oh, here we go. Let's get it over with. Let's move on. Terrence Crawford, sign the fight with Sean Porter. Please give us something. Otherwise, we have to wait to Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury to put back the jolt and excitement in boxing. Because right now, boxing is... Hmm, I'm just saying. Let me know what you think if you disagree. Until next time, it's Pedro Justice.